What's going on guys? So today I want to talk about this Saab 99 Turbo that was on bringatrailer.com which for those of you who are unaware bringatrailer.com is basically an auction site for cars where people can pay to have their car listed there and then people basically get in massive bidding wars and try to buy them. So there was a Saab 99 Turbo that was posted for sale on there a few weeks back. And in the final half hour of the auction, the price of the car doubled. It was at about $14,000 with 30 minutes to go, and it ended up selling for $27,500. Now, before I get any further into this video, I do wanna let you guys know that as you are watching this, I am currently on the other side of the country. On Tuesday night, I am flying from Phoenix to Boston in hopes of purchasing a new car. And with that being said, assuming all goes well, I will be the owner of a new car and it'll be shipped back to Phoenix hopefully in the next couple of weeks. So if you guys do want some more information or you wanna know what's going on while I'm in Boston or possibly a sneak peek of the car if I get convinced to show it on Instagram, make sure to follow me on Instagram at auto.autopsy. I'll be posting a lot of stuff on my story. And like I said, who knows, maybe I'll give you guys a sneak peek of what the car is, but I know that every single one of you is going to love it. So let's get back to this 99 Turbo. So the 99 Turbo is basically the pinnacle of Saab 99s. The 99 was Saab's really first big, really good selling car. Following the 99, you had the 900, which of course is probably the car that Saab is most known for. But the 99 Turbo was one of the first cars to be turbocharged. Now, of course, cars have been turbocharged for a very, very long time, but Saab was really one of the first brands to stick a turbo in an everyday family car. You know, usually turbos were just left for the super high-end performance cars, but Saab thought, why not put this in a family sedan? So that's what they did, and sure enough, everyone went crazy for them. Now, oddly enough, back in the 70s when this thing was new, the car retailed for about $10,000. So of course, inflation is a huge deal and blah, 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 and whatnot, but the fact that this car just sold for almost $30,000 is pretty cool, I think. This specific spec of the 99 Turbo came with black paint, which was actually repainted back in 1984 by one of the owners. And it also comes with a really strange interior, and I actually really, really like it. I think it contrasts super well with the exterior of the car, and it really pops and stands out. And I actually, like I said, I think it looks pretty dang good. So the 99 Turbo came with a two liter turbocharged engine with a four speed manual gearbox. Now this specific 99 Turbo had very low mileage as well, and it was just an absolute mint condition. I mean, it was in basically showroom condition Condition. Now, I don't know if I would call these modifications or more of conversions and upgrades, which I guess upgrades and modifications are kind of the same thing. But to read off a couple of things that were done to this car. So like I said, the, in, the exterior was repainted in 1984. And at that time, the car was outfitted with louvers in the clamshell hood, a Euro headlight conversion, reupholstered seats, a new headliner, and a new fuel accumulator. Prior to the replacement of the accumulator, the previous owner had already replaced the fuel bump, cleaned the fuel tank, and changed the fuel filter. And then of course you had other maintenance done such as new shock absorbers, Bilstein shocks. So one really interesting point that I actually saw brought up in one of the Saab groups is, is this car going to have a big impact on the price of other 99 turbos, especially really clean ones like this. And you know, I kind of thought about that for a bit and I, I don't think it will because you know, the 99 turbo, of course it's a rare car, but at the same time, it's not so rare to a point where you can count how many there are on your fingers, you know? There's still thousands of them out there. Granted, very, very few of them are going to be in that nice of condition. So I think for the ones that are in very nice condition, you will you will see them go up just a bit in price. I don't think they'll be all selling for over 20 grand regularly or anything absurd like that. But I do think that very, very clean examples can be impacted by this. I mean, 
but your average run-of-the-mill 99 turbo I don't think that'll really do much to the price of it I and I think you know this bidding war kind of frustrated a lot of people especially those that like the 99 turbo and especially those that are looking for them because they're they're kind of fearing that oh no now they're gonna be more expensive you know but I just I don't think that's the case I think there's too many of them left still now if you were talking about a car you know some super super limited edition car where there were maybe 10 of them ever produced now of course when one of those sells there's only so few other ones out there that'll impact the value of the other ones but with the 99 turbo like i said there's just too many of them left so i want to know what you guys think down below in the comments do you think the sale of this car will have a big impact on the rest of Saab 99 turbo sales. And if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you do want to see what the heck I'm doing over in Massachusetts, make sure to follow me on Instagram at auto.autopsy. That's it for today, guys. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.